hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Manuel r for those who don't know me if you've been here before thank you for stopping back bye um i'm here to i'm doing an intro for this video because uh there's low shedding and i wanted to do the intro in the house but there's low shedding and it got dark my ring light was off so i'm filming a video of how to do a ball cap method and how to install your lace frontal so i filmed that for you guys and um yeah let's get into the video sorry i had to do the intro in the car but we gotta do what we gotta do i hope you enjoy it uh don't forget to like comment share and subscribe hope you enjoy the video bye angels let us begin first things first you want to make sure that you protect your edges so in order to protect your edges i'm going to be using my edge control from iso plus to push them back so i'm just brushing them back i'm doing this because i want to make sure that my edges are away from the glue when i put on the wig cap so that they are secure and safe and they don't get ripped off and i'm also going in with the got to be glue edge control and i'm gonna take a smaller toothbrush and i'm just gonna make sure that they are pushed back and laid back and secured before i put on the wig cap I feel like I'm already looking bold, like the forehead is a foreheading. It's out and shining. Earring forehead morning. Anyways, now I'm going to put on the wig cap and I'm just going to pull it all the way down so I have space to cut. I'm going to make sure it's covering my ears and the rest of my forehead. And then I'm just going to pull it and I'm trying to see where I am going to be applying my glue and where I am going to cut before I start doing everything. Now, I don't know about you, but I used to be a got to be spray kind of girl. But ever since I discovered this glamour spray, I am no longer looking back. This bad boy will make sure that your wig does not lift. This is the sis that she thinks she is, the babe that she thinks she is. So I'm going to spray it all around my just below my hairline and i'm going to take my hair dryer and i'm going to just assist in the drying process so it's quicker you don't have to do this step if you have time you can just make sure maybe go grab some tea watch a tv show some youtube video while you wait for it to dry but girl we are in a hurry so we're gonna use a hair dryer to assist in making the parts speeding up the process as you can see i'm putting more of the spray on the sides because that's where um you usually find that your wig cap or your lace starts to flip up so in order for that side to be more secure i'm making sure that the girl is laying down 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 Now it's time to cut, but first things first, an important thing to note is that when you are cutting, do not sort of like lift your lace up. Try to sort of like push it up little by little and make sure that you just make a little incision on the ear part and on the other side as well oh and i didn't tell you guys so i use sheer stockings and not a wig cap because sheer stockings are much thinner and less visible on your lace than a wig cap but you can use a wig cap if you want to so cutting a little snip on your ear area is to make sure that the lace or the wig cap rather does not unravel all the way up so you're just going to cut it a little bit and then you're going to start cutting from the center and then going all the way up but remember since you did push your hairline back you're not going to now 
go and cut the wig cap right where your hairline is because then it's gonna make you look like you have a much bigger forehead than you actually do so you're gonna cut a little bit lower than where your hairline is right and also that's also because you don't want to apply glue on your hairline remember we pushed our hairline back to secure it so if you're gonna cut exactly where our hairline is it means that we're gonna end up applying glue on our hairline and we are gonna rip off our hair Now this next step is optional, you don't have to do it if you don't want to, but the reason why I'm cutting off the wig cap on the sides and I'm exposing a little bit of my hair, it's because like I said, the your, your lace frontal normally starts lifting there and the material of the wig cap is too soft and does not give enough grip for your lace frontal so a little bit of hair on the side will ensure that your lace frontal grips and it does not lift on the sides uh i mean you can sacrifice a little hairs on the side right now let's go into the fun part i'm going to be using ghost bond and first things first we are going to make sure that you see that little lift on the wig cap we don't want that we want the wig cap to stick all the way down so i'm taking my ghost bond and i'm going to take my um red tail comb and i'm just gonna mix it up and i'm taking my toothbrush and i'm going to apply my ghost bond on a downward motion so to make sure that the wig cap is not sitting facing up but it's smoothly laid down all the way down and i'm going to do two layers of this and it's very important that you wait between the layers so as you can see the ghost bond is white but it does dry clear so you have to sit and wait for it to be clear and then do the second layer if you are lazy or if you're running out of time and you want to do this quick you can take your blow dryer and assist in the drying process as well but you don't have to do that you can just sit and wait drink your coffee watch a youtube video like i said check if you've subscribed to my channel and go hit that subscribe button while you are waiting or something yeah and then when the first layer has dried we're gonna do the second layer Now I'm using my red tail comb to apply a third layer but the difference between this layer and the first two layers is that this one is not mostly on the wig cap but it's applied going down to the skin because I'm applying it going to where the line of where I'm going to apply my lace frontal so that's very important now i'm just rubbing it down until it clears and because i didn't have enough time i did 
like employ the assistant of my blow dryer to make it dry quicker because the girl needs to go the girl needs to be out and about we cannot be waiting for this glue to dry clear honestly <laughs> now for the fun part we're going to make sure that that wig cap is blending with our skin our scalp we want to look bold we want to make this a realistic bold cap so i'm taking my foundation shade and this is the shade cappuccino in superstay maybelline that's the shade that i use i'm just going to make sure that i apply it all the way in the front and i'm applying a lot in the center because i am going to be doing a middle part so i'm just gonna apply it apply it apply it until that wig cap is blended to my forehead and i look like i am a bold man <laughs> Oh my god. At this point, your glue must be dry, nice, and tacky. So I'm just taking my finger to feel the tackiness. And if it is sort of like lifting off seamlessly, that means that your glue is ready. You take your wig. So I already treated the hair, I washed it, I conditioned it. So this is a reinstall. This is hair that I've used before. So the lace has been cut. Let me know in the comment sections if you want to do a first time install, like where the lace is not yet cut. So I can show you how to cut a lace as well. I'll be willing to do that for you guys. Just let me know in the comment section and maybe the next wig install video will be a first time install and not a reinstall so i'm taking my hair and i'm making sure that i'm pushing back all the little hairs so that there's no hair that's going to be trapped underneath the lace and also trapped on the glue you just want the lace to be glued to be on the glue and not any of the hair you can even take your small red tail comb and just make sure that you comb back that hair before you start gluing it down Now that we are happy and there are no hairs disturbing us we are going to pick up the bad girl again the glamour edge spray and we are going to spray it on i'm just using my finger to rub it down and i'm gonna spray it all over and i'm just going to make sure that i lay down that lace slowly starting from the center and then going to the sides i'm just gonna lay it hold it a little bit until i'm satisfied that okay it's sitting and then i go to the side and then I will repeat the same process on the other side. Now, when you reach your flaps, you need to make sure that you pull on them. See where they are going to be and then you spray and then pull them down again. Make sure you hold them for a little while before you let them go because it's very easy for your lace to lift at this point so you just need to be patient use your fingers to rub down make sure you are holding that lace down hold it down for dear life Now all the sides are secure, but because with the lace frontal, you can never ever be sure. I'm just going to take my red tail comb and I'm going to make sure that I rub down that lace until I can feel that it is one with my scalp. I will not stop until you can feel that it is one with your scalp. Don't stop rubbing it down and making sure that that bad boy is laid to the gods. Now with my red tail comb, I'm taking it again and I'm just combing back 
all my hair i'm combing back my hair because i am going to take um my melting strip and i'm going to put it on and i'm gonna keep it on so that i make sure that my lace is uh, melted onto my scalp and also to check if there are any gaps where the glue did not apply properly and if it's lifting as you can see i'm taking my finger a little bit of the glue the spray spraying it on my finger and just applying it where i can see that there's a bit there's a little bit of gaps and going in with the rectal comb again and just rubbing it down check each and every corner each and every part make sure you go back again and again until you are satisfied with how your lace is sitting it needs to be sitting flat nothing should be flapping up now i'm putting on the melting strip when i say that when you are going to lay your frontal you must make sure you have time wake up early if you know you're going somewhere because this melting strip you need to put it on and forget about it go take a shower eat clean the house just forget about this melting strip because you need to make sure that your hair is secured one thing you don't want is that when you're out there your hair is lifting if you want to make sure you have a lift proof install apply that melting strip and forget about it go on about your morning clean your house iron your clothes get dressed and then come back and style your hair so we're applying our melting strip making sure that it's nicely secured all the corners the center is secured and then we are going to start with our styling process a few hours later Yo, one million years later now we're starting with the styling process i'm taking my hot comb switching it on making sure that it's heating up and then i'm gonna go in with my heat protector because we always have to protect the hair i mean you do want to reuse the hair keep it for longer so you must make sure that you protect it and you get good products for it so i'm using the tresemme heat protector applying it all around and then i'm just brushing it in with my blow brush making sure that we are ready for that styling process and then i'm going to take my straightener and i'm going to straighten my hair bit by bit i'm gonna take little sections you need to again i can't stress it enough you need to be very patient when you are doing this little i know it takes time but if you take little portions of the hair it means that you can get the hair as flat as possible so i'm just going in two swaps down and then i go to the next one i'm going to be using my red tail comb to comb through the hair and just like that i'm going to straighten the whole head let me not bore you i will fast forward this part <laughs> I'm going in with my hot comb and with the hot comb I can't stress this enough it's very important to start by putting on some silicone serum because you want your hair to be silky smooth but it's also important to note that I it's important to note that rather I went in with the straightener first because it's a hair straightener it's a it's to make your hair straight the hot comb is not going to straighten your hair all the way the hot comb is for flattening the hair to get that laid back look that's what the hot comb is for because i find that most people want to use a hot comb to straighten the hair that's not what it's for the hot comb is just after the straightener comes the hot comb to flatten everything down as you can see i am flattening where i'm going to be defining my part and i'm also flattening the back part so it doesn't look like we are wearing a cap honey and then you can now switch between your hot comb and your straightener as you're busy you can straighten where you can see that there's a little bit of imperfections just go back keep going back swipe 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 
take your hot comb, go back, back and forth until you have the desired look. Now that I'm happy with how straight laid down and silky smooth my hair is, I'm going to remove the melting strip. This thing was tight. There was no brain activity in my head. Then I'm going to push back my, my hair so that I can see which hair I'm going to be using to create the baby hair. So I'm just using a toothbrush to push back all the hair and i'm also doing this to check my lace as you can see the lace is a bit whitish we don't want that color of the lace so we have to fix that but before that we just have to comb up brush up the hair then i'm taking my iso plus um extreme hold spray i saw this hack on an instagram girly and i was like what so i'm just spraying it on the lace to get rid of that sort of like a white tint that's on the lace and also to help it melt onto the scalp even more so i'm just gonna spray it on and rub it all the way through the lace Now you can see our lace is looking better. It's not that white anymore. You put back that melting strip. Because remember you just applied a wet product. You want it to stick and be turkey. So you put back your melting strip. Make sure it's nicely secured. And then wait for that layer of the extreme hold spray to dry down. And make sure that your hair is fully secured. I one eternity later we took off that melting strip now we are ready to do the things that make the post to be done if you don't like baby heads you don't have to do them but I like them so I'm gonna do them so I'm just taking my mousse and I'm going to take some pieces of hair and I'm gonna take the mousse and just hold them together then I'm going to cut the hair to the length that I like of my baby hairs cut that off and then i'm going to do that on the other side as well so for this look i want just four so i want baby hairs on either top of my forehead and then i want uh sideburns as well so i'm going to go on and also take out a bit of hair in the front for my sideburns and i'm going to snip that off hold it with my mousse so that it does not uh scatter everywhere i don't know the word so that it does not move so that it's hold held together before i can do the soup soup and then i'm going to go in and just cut and i'm gonna do the same thing for the other side as well Now that I have my baby hairs ready and I know where they're going, I'm taking that same mousse, I'm taking my toothbrush, and I'm going to do the soup, doo -doo soup, just going to soup it up. One thing I can tell you is that I don't have a hard time creating baby hairs on my natural hair. But guys, creating baby hairs on a wig I, is another process that yeah it's not for me but you know what i'm learning i actually did better here than i did on my valentine's day vlog get ready with me if you haven't watched that one i'm gonna link it on the cards go and watch it and just like that we have our baby hairs on both sides and our uh, middle part is a parting now i'm just taking my hot comb again i'm just making sure that everything is nice and flat and lifted you know i like that whole like sort of like a little bit of a lift above your baby hairs kind of look so i'm taking my hot comb and i'm like 
lifting it up a little bit so there's a bit of a lift if you get it and i'm just flattening that part so that it is a defined middle part Now, there is nothing more stubborn than flyaways, and we don't want them. We don't like them. We don't rate them. So, we want to get rid of them. With my mousse, I'm going to take it, apply it on the palm of my hands, and I'm going to make sure I flatten down those flyaways. I don't like them. I hate them so much. I find myself pulling on them, and I know that's wrong because if you pull on them, you're actually ruining your lace. So, I try to make sure that they are flat 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 and also i'm gonna take my wax stick and i'm just going to make sure that it's extra hold on those flyaways and as you can see i'm taking my hot comb to press down and melt down the mousse and the wax stick so that those flyaways those flyaways can go away and i'm just checking if i like my parting fixing any imperfections any things that i don't like making sure that by the time i leave this here house i am very much happy with what i have created this step is also very much optional but if you are like me and you are fussy and you don't like seeing that whiteness of the lace I go in with my concealer or my foundation shade and I'm just going to go in on that middle parting and I'm going to apply a little bit of my foundation shade so that it looks like my skin and also the gaps that are on my lace as well. I am going to try and cover them with the uh, shade as well. And then I'm just going in with my wax stick again, just to make sure again, because I just finished putting on that layer of foundation, just to make sure that everything is seamless and perfect. Just going in with the wax stick for the last time, making sure everything is nice and flattened. And just like that we are done we are happy we are pretty don't forget to like comment share and subscribe till the next one my angels i love you thank you for watching goodbye